Hello and welcome back. Um, I've been getting a few comments that I should rather use flat cam instead of an engraving method to show off the T8 CNC uh, when doing isolation milling. Um, the reason why I've been using the engraver method is pretty simple. If I present this picture um, with the printout and the uh, result, it is pretty easy to make out that the result is what it should be and that it's reasonably good because all the uh, details that I want from the from the original got copied to the result. Now, a lot of people watch these videos and they have um, very little experience doing this and they can relate to this uh, sort of result. If I do a flat cam um, rendering, it's going to look a lot different. Because the only thing that will be on the copper are the grooves um, where the isolation has been milled into the PCB. Um, although this works better, um, for showing it off, it is actually not quite as good. But for the sake of completion and because I want to really show the result, I'm gonna engrave um, exactly the same board um, that has gone through flat cam for isolation milling. One little problem with this is I've run out of copper boards and so what I'll do in this video is, if we go over here, I'm going to in, I'm going to mill it into the back of this PCB here. Um, of course, it won't work, uh, but we'll see if the engraver or the CNC is up to the job. So let's go. Uh, I stopped this process a little early because uh, from what I'm seeing here um, it's not going to look as good as I thought it would and um, it's definitely not going to compare to it being done on a real um, PCB board. Uh, the reason is that the fiberglass is um, uh, kind of blooming at the top, so uh, although you can make out the traces and you can see that they're uh, perfectly separated, it is not as beautiful as one would have thought. Um, but anyway, it does sort of uh, get the point across that isolation milling with this CNC works, of course, because the other milling worked too. and. Um, for anybody who wants to have real rapid prototyping with a CNC machine, um, 
going the flat cam way is of course um, a very good option if not the better one so this concludes this short video thank you for watching and bye bye